world, many farmers struggle to meet their crop's demand for water. Yet every year farmers send billions of virtual gallons of water to other countries in the form of food and feed grown with that water. Some countries export more than they import, others do the opposite. The demand for milk in China, where consumers are drinking more of it than ever, shows how virtual water is being exported from the United States. Chinese farmers responded to the growing demand for milk by importing more foreign cows. But Chinese farmers couldn't grow enough to feed all their cattle. Demand for alfalfa hay increased, and with it, imports of virtual water. It takes 1,182 gallons of water to produce a single gallon of milk. In China, only 1% of that water is for cattle to drink or for other uses on the farm. The remaining 99% is used to produce feed and hay for the cattle. Much of China's imported alfalfa hay comes from California, which is suffering one of its worst droughts on record. Alfalfa is the state's largest agricultural water user, and Chinese imports of U.S. alfalfa have grown drastically since 2005, reaching almost 650,000 tons in 2013. Growing that took 310,000 acre-feet of U.S. water. That's equivalent to the amount used annually by 800,000 American families. The issue of agriculture's water footprint, meaning all the water used to produce a commodity and get it to a consumer, is contentious, since many farmers use scarce water to produce low-value export crops. But at the very least, we can all be more aware of the water that arrives not just in our glasses, but on our plates. Thank you.